Good morning, everybody. It's Bill. Um, I've been using this to make the little lines in there. And I've done some long ways and some cross ways. And I didn't really get a true cross hatch pattern in the thing. But, you know, it's something that will work just fine. The whole idea is if I do this here, it gives it a little bit of a, not so much on the chunky stuff, but it gives it a little bit of a line. You know that's almost like rows and you can see it going down there um, so whenever I take the broadcast spreader and I put this grass seed in there um, you know it'll fall down in some of those and then we're gonna throw hay and rabbit poop over the top of it like I was talking about earlier oh I'm sorry politically correct term I guess is hay and fertilizer <laughs> and uh, then I'm gonna get the sprinkler out and I'm going to set the sprinkler to water that for a while. Um, enough to get the ground good and soaked. Uh, that'll allow it to settle. Which I'm hoping it's going to settle just a little bit below the edge. Kind of like this one did here. If you look at that. I'm hoping it'll all settle in just a hair. Maybe an inch or two. And then, uh, you know, give it a week or so. Let the grass start coming up and see how well it takes all right i'll be back hey everybody it's bill again um i cleaned out that cage just that cage right there and this is what came out of that cage so obviously it's fluffed up a little more here than it was there but still um it's about five of these uh, over the course of the winter so, anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. I, I threw a little bit back in here for the rabbit, and I threw her pad, and I lowered her food down and stuff. Uh, he, she, I forget if this one's a boy or a girl. But anyway, this rabbit, if you see him moving around, likes to dig around. So I just throw the pile in there, and they, they're digging around. When Cindy gets here, um, I think there's actually a poop box for them, or for him or her, that goes in there. And so I'll let Cindy put that in there and then, um, you know, she could put however much more straw she wants to put in there. But if you look right there, you'll see running around underneath, sniffing, checking it out. Then we're going to take this. Here's Rosie eating grass. She was running around here with a squirrel in her mouth earlier. She kept going to the front or to the back door there, the side door. Um, looking at the door and then looking at me and I kept telling her no day night girl she, so now she's uh, I don't know she's chewing on grass maybe she gotta go poopy but anyway uh, that's it for now I'll be back Okay, there we go. There's a little bit more from that one load. And I'm going back. I got four more cages to do. Well, one cage is a double level, so, uh, you know, it counts as four or two. And then the other two are singles. So, and already them two holes I pointed out when I was riding up here, where that dirt, that, that bird that y'all saw walking away, he said, see him sitting over there? He's sitting over there by that tree. He's sitting there waiting for me to go so he can come back and dig in here. Yeah. I got news for him. I'm on to his ass. Yeah. I'm watching you, bird. Me. You. Yeah. All right, everybody. There you go. Um, I got some stuff over here. There's Cindy. I got some stuff over here in the car that Cindy hasn't seen yet. But, uh... She'll see it soon enough, and then she'll go, I don't like that way, I'm... <laughs> okay, she really doesn't talk like that. But anyway, 
I got these. See those? Those in there? Yeah. And they're actually, they're solar powered, rechargeable batteries, and they're lighted. So, they'll be, I think, pretty nice. And they're blue, so they'll stand out. Maybe it'll keep people from hitting it. Anyway, talk to you later.